Hello everyone. I finally pulled out a sketchbook I had in storage for a while. This is a moleskin book from their art collection, specifically designed for watercolour and other water-based mediums. I didn't know this when I bought it, but the paper is a nice 25% cotton mix. I'm not sure if this makes any difference in how watercolour would behave versus 100% cellulose paper, but it is a nice thing to note. I have also taken a set of gouache I had also bought ages ago. This is Reeves gouache, which is probably the most entry-level gouache you'll find, along with Artist's Loft and other store brand versions. I have the 24 set here, which was £16 full price. I got it when it was half off, so £8 for me. And between the price and the fact there is no pigment or light fastness information, I'm not expecting a lot from this paint. I also have a new palette which I'll be using, which is technically from a set of cutting boards. I'll put the link down in the description. First off, I'll be swatching the 23 colours, and then we'll get onto the first of three paintings in this video. So, let's begin. The purpose of swatching these paints is twofold. One, to see the actual colour of the paints, rather than trying to rely on the colour that's on the container. And the other is to see how well it performs before I do any painting with them. The main issue that I had with these paints was that a large number of them had the binder just floating at the top. I'd had to use a cocktail stick to mix it back in with the pigment before squeezing it out, otherwise I would have just had a lump of binder on the palette. You can see this with one of the later colours. The second was that some of the colours were very much against being laid down nicely. The main culprits in this set that I found were peach, brilliant red, cobalt blue, mid green, dark green and grey. Most of these settled once they were dry, but for others, specifically the cobalt blue, I had to apply additional layers to get an even application. When I squeezed out the magenta, I had to double check that I was using the right colour, as to me, that is not magenta, but an almost almost neon pink. For the fact that I paid around 33 pence per tube of this, I can't really say I expected too much, and these admittedly do feel usable, unlike some even cheaper paints I bought just for the purpose of colour mixing. We'll continue on with the swatching, and I'll pop back in to talk about the images I chose for reference.
My plan for this, rather than using up expensive acrylic paper, canvas paper or even canvas panels, is to instead use inexpensive gouache and this little sketchbook to practice painting. My focus for these will be light and shadow, picking a still life reference image and painting it twice, once in grayscale and once in colour. The first image here I chose to work from was this setting of a skull, pitcher and some lemons on a yellow background. The contrast between the shadows and the midtones wasn't too dramatic, but what appealed to me was the simple use of just two colours. This image, as well as the other two, are all linked below in the description.
For the strawberries in a glass bowl, similar to the skull and lemons, this had a focus of only a couple of colours, as well as strong contrast between the background and shadows and the mid-tones. The pattern on the glass was very intricate, but as I'm focusing on contrast and not details, I didn't worry about this.
This is a very monochromatic painting with only really white, cream, orange and browns used, but again some strong contrast. Once more, there were small details in here I didn't even attempt to replicate, only the light and shadow. Our final reference image for this video is this jar of, I presume honey, some citrus fruit and a couple of flowers.
And there we have the final painting of the three. I hope you found this interesting, maybe inspired a couple of you to do similar. Please let me know if it has, and I'll be doing this again in the future. If you made it this far, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.